Okay, so we're doing the pit, and every week we have to hit the grease fittings. So there's your two grease fittings. Okay, on the side. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it two pumps. Okay. If you haven't done it in a while, give it a couple extra pumps. Okay. But it doesn't matter if you're doing the front or the back, you do all the grease fitting each time. So okay. Hit stop. Now, it's up to you. Some conveyors are different, so you have to know where the grease fittings are in your conveyor. Okay. Here we got the two in the front, the two in the back. It's up to the manager to make sure that this is getting done. Okay. Then, as you can see, you can see they already took the plates off. Okay. Did you guys do scraping? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I didn't see you guys scrape. You did? Okay. All right, so they do the scraping. Okay. What they do is they, they take their tool and they go along, they pull everything down. Over on the metal yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, okay, just, I just see. Them, okay. They put, they, then you're going to sweep everything down and then they're going to shovel it out. That's what they're doing. What's up for the manager to do is take off these other plates. Everybody on the front and exit end, there's the two side plates that are smaller. You have to take them off. And if you look down here, see all that mud? Mm -hmm. Now, this isn't too, too bad, because I've done it not too long ago. Okay. Um, but if this mud starts building up and the water can't, and then it'll be like a dam, the water will rise, in the winter it freezes, and then we're going to have a major problem. Okay. Then the you're going to get a conveyor jam, and it's going to happen on a busy day. It's up to the manager to get his hands down here and get everything out. Okay. I got my glove on, and I'm going now, now, do it how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You want to get something down here, you have a little baby hoe or something like that. I got gloves on. I'm going to be okay. Oh, you can turn it off. A place that a lot of guys forget to take it out is back here. So what I, if you have one of those baby hoes I have in a couple of the places, those, those will work good. But here I don't, so I'm just going to take my crowbar and I'm going to pull the mud out from back there. I don't want to hear, my kids didn't do this. My cleaners didn't do this. I'm telling you, it's the manager's job. This is another place that a lot of people forget about right here. It's right around the turnaround plate and then the chain comes back this way. You see these leaves down here? Between the mud buildup and the leaf buildup, if if it got higher and higher, and then it freezes, that's going to be a roller jam. Mm -hmm. And then what are we going to do? You're going to call me, and I'm going to have to come here on a busy day and get your conveyor going again. So let's stop that from happening. This is where the rollers come. We can't have a nice dam here. All right, you can just... What I like to have the guys do, even though my pipes are a little bit more that way, I don't like pushing all the mud right to the pipe because I'm worried about all that mud going in there. So I have them do the bulk of it over here and then they go, fur then they go down a little further to the pipe. Same thing on the opposite side. I'll have them push it down almost to the pipes that go, that go, to, the, that go to the reclaim system. Then when they get most of it up, I have them go a little bit further just to be safe. Okay. Just a little side note. Mm -hmm. Back up. 
Um, when the kids are working in here to be a nice manager, and so the water doesn't drip down their back, the basket has four sections. Okay. I just take the longest piece and I tie a section together. Okay. So the kids don't get wet. Gotcha. Or if you're working here, maybe you don't want to get wet. If you don't want to do it, teach it to your guy. If they don't want to do it, let them get wet. Gotcha. Okay, you can stop again. Then you have your pit screen, and behind the pit screen, Everybody has two pipes. Okay. All right? These pipes, when the, the water falls, goes into the pit, goes down these pipes, and goes to your reclaim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use high-pressure water, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put it in there and make sure there's no blockages. These are, these are, no, these are awesome, guys. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get yourself one of these and shove it in there. The next thing is, is you got to put enough hose in there that it makes all the way to your, uh, to your uh, reclaimed pits that, that, uh, that are underneath the diamond plates. A uh, place like Manalapin, they're only a couple feet because they're, they're in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I think in all the other car washes, they're in the back room. So while in Manalapin, maybe you have to go 10 feet in. Maybe the other stores, you got to go 15, 20 feet, something. Okay. Now, it's a good sign that the water's not backing out. If the water's backing out, you got a blockage. You could try to snake it with the hose. If you really, really can't get it, you got to get the actual snake. fighting me a little bit. So there's a, there's a little bit of mud there, but every time I pull out, I'm going in a little deeper. And if I didn't do this, sooner or later it would become a problem. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do the other one also. I don't see the water backing up. That's a good sign. If, if you can't get this, mm -hmm. if, if the water's backing up and you can't get it, let me know and we'll get a snake there okay. and, we'll get, and we'll get the job done. And ma make sure. A standard, a standard regular snake works for this? You need like one of those higher powered ones? Um, I would, for, you know, depends on the on the, on the, the blockage, but uh, okay. I would say a regular snake should should get it because it's only a certain amount of feet that way. Okay. Um, don't have the kids do this. Okay. They're not going to know if they did it good enough. This is up to the manager. That's that. Okay. What I like to do is, since I did this side today, I'm going to send a little water out that way, try to clean off this crack, behind the crack. Again, if you let the mud build up too much, it's going to be like a dam, and the water's not going to get through. It's not the worst idea 
to water down the sprocket. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. Then what you do is on the track on both sides, you get the mud off the track on and go all the way down. Now, here my guys are still doing the pit, uh, so it's going to flood water at them. So I should really wait till they're done to do this. Okay. And then what I'll do is, again, I want the manager to do this, because if you're doing this, you can see if your guys didn't do something, or if they didn't do the pit good enough, or if there's something left behind. I go, I push everything forward with my hose, and I also go back under the track a little bit. So I'm going along, and I'm noticing if my guys missed anything. When we get done with this, they're going to put the plates back on, and we're done. If, if you're doing your pit good every week, if you haven't been doing your pit right the first time, it might take a little longer. But if you teach your guys the right way to do the pit, if they all have an organized way to go about it, each guy knows what their job is. One, why one guy's taking off the plates, the other guy's scraping underneath, mm -hmm. things like that to keep it flowing. You would get the pit done in a half hour. That's once you have it cleaned right. Of course, it's a little easier in the summer. We have less traffic. It's a little harder in the winter because all the chassis baths we get. That's how you do the pit. Okay. You can shut it off. Perfect example of why the manager has to do this part of the job. He scraped pretty good, but again, in the winter time with the freezing and stuff like that, if I look back here and I find these leaves, this. We want that out. Probably not gonna freeze in the middle of the car wash. And that's why you rinse it down so you know if you guys did a good enough job, you can stop the tape.